How's it going guys? I wasn't expecting it to be uh, this long between videos. Things happen. Now it's cold out. But uh, I wanted to get one of these done on my dad's 55 a couple months ago. It just didn't happen. But had a little bit of time, a little bit of time so I figured I'd uh, get it out of the pole building and let you guys take a look at it. All right, so 55, 210, two-door sedan. It's a, it's not exactly a clone. It's more of a tribute to a 55 that my uncle had in the late 50s. He got it in 58 and had it until uh, 1970. Um, so you'll notice there's some like custom touches to it here and there. It's been nosed and decked. There's a French antenna. The big thing is the uh, 56 Packard taillights in the back. Because the car started out as a kind of a mild custom. And then once the gaster stuff started, you put the straight axle in, and but it still had all the uh, custom touches to it yet. So it was like a custom gasser. Wagon bumper, or wagon center anyway. This has been done for about 20 years. I finished it around 2002. It's held up pretty decent since then. Three twenty-seven M twenty-one. There's a 410, 410 posi in it. I'll pop the hood. It's fairly, fairly period correct. There's some modern, modern stuff like disc brakes and that kind of stuff, but. The front end was cut off. Uh, new new rails and stuff are made. There's a 50, the second series, 55, the 60 uh, Chevy pickup uh, front axle and the springs. That's a disc brake conversion uh, for the axle. <coughs> My uncle's car had like a tuck and roll interior in it. So my dad went with the, the Del Rey since, you know, you don't see it often and it, it has kind of a, a custom look to it. And seatbelts in the back for the grandkids. Your great, -grand great grandkids for him. 59 Pala wheel. The Raider slicks in the back. Runs pretty good. It's a fun car. Let's fire it up. Bumped the off button by accident. <laughs>
I think it sounded pretty good. The gear drive, Pete got Pete Jackson gear drive in it. That's some original pictures or pictures of the original car where my uncle had it. In there somewhere. I don't remember exactly what year that was from. That was out front of my grandparents' house in New Jersey. My grandfather's uh, 54 Chevy behind it. There's a picture of the taillights. So, maybe in the springtime, the grass is kind of wet and stuff, so I don't want to take it out for uh take it out for a ride so maybe sometime in the spring i'll do another little little ride along or something with it it's a fun car to drive let's do one last little walk around So, thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully, I can get back in a, or get more in the swing of getting some stuff done. So, I got a project car of my own I want to get started on, but we've got a ton of room in the garage right now with customer cars. Uh, and now it's winter time, so you can't be working outside. So, but yeah. See you on the next one.